Hi, I'm Jack Wood from Planet Eclipse, and today we're going to talk about the PAL loader system. In this case, we're going to be looking at the PAL-enabled eMEC. In the marker itself, we have a new feed tube assembly and a new body. Actually running through the feed tube itself is a small plunger. This has an O-ring seal at the bottom and is fed by a small port from the breech. Looking at the PAL loader itself, there are a few key features to incorporate into this loader. The lid itself is very flexible. It has a flexible hinge that won't snap or shatter. It's a two-piece construction, screwed together. You'll see that the exterior, or the shell, is glass-reinforced nylon. And then inside the loader itself, you can see we have some other key components. So how does the PAL system work? The red piece inside here is a shelf, and this prevents the weight of the paintballs in the top half of the loader pushing down and causing jams around the outlet. If any jams do occur, we then have the blue plate at the bottom that's actuated and moved constantly by the plunger in the PAL-enabled marker. Those two items work together to give a constant steady stream of paintballs down into the marker with feed rates of up to 10 balls a second. Each time the marker fires, is a build-up of pressure behind the paintball. We take some of that pressure and use it to move a plunger system inside the PAL-enabled feed tube. This plunger then contacts an agitation plate inside the PAL loader and allows a free and steady flow of paintballs down into the marker. By using the air pressure, we no longer have a need for batteries in the loader system. We have the perfect, battery-free playing experience. The reasons for developing the PAL system were simple. It was to give us the best possible battery-free playing experience. We have no batteries in the EMEC marker itself. We didn't want batteries in the loader. We needed a loader to work exceptionally with high rates of fire that the EMEC can achieve. that's suitable for entry-level players, experienced players, and rental fleets alike. And that's what we created with the power system.